Ten sit o gusgno maganak, eguan is Douglas Nitsigason. Hello and welcome students. My name is Miss Douglas. I'd like to welcome you as we take time in our day to recognize Orange Shirt Day. This is a time for remembrance and reflection, a time to listen and learn with open and compassionate hearts, and to recognize and remember our roles in reconciliation. We all come from different paths, but we are also all treaty people. We begin by recognizing that we are on Treaty 4 land. Treaty 4 was signed September 15, 1874, and is known as the Qua of Hell Treaty, as it was signed in Fort Coppell. We recognize the Indigenous signatories who made treaty with the Canadian government, entering into this partnership, as long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the river flows. We recognize that this is the traditional homeland of the Cree people and made up of the Ojibwe and Soto nations, the Dakota and Lakota, and the Assiniboian the Nakota, and many Métis nations. Please join us in reflecting and listening to the story of Chani Wenjack in our opening song, The Secret Path by Gord Downey.
name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Creator God, we give you thanks for all that you are and all that you bring to us within your creation. Through your love, we know that we are all children of God and that every child matters. You show us the way to live a generous and compassionate life. Give us your strength to live together with respect and harmony, to strengthen our relationships and communities. Help us in our commitment as we grow in your spirit, for you are God, now and forever. Amen. This year's devotion on the Miss School will be greeted by the 54 flag, and here's a gentle message. All people are welcome here. This is a home away from home. We pray. O oh, great Creator, we thank you for this opportunity to meet today in peace and harmony. We thank you for the treaties. Grant us the wisdom to understand the terms of the divine way. Grant us the will to continue to live in harmony and accept the place of all. We ask in Jesus' name. May much. We have been very fortunate over the years to have Elder Jerry Stonechild in our building to share with us his story, his knowledge and teachings, and the many laughs that he would bring. This summer we lost a keeper of knowledge as Elder Jerry lost his battle with cancer. This is not without sharing his wisdom with many staff and students, making a great impact on our Holy Trinity community. Please join together in a moment of silence to celebrate the life of Elder Jerry Stonechild. Wait. Hello, everyone. My name is Phyllis Webstad. I'm from the Stuachum Chatstam First Nation, Kenna Creek Dog Creek, in the interior of British Columbia. We are a part of the Shawatm or the Shushwap Nation. We are about seven hours north of Vancouver. In celebration of Indigenous History Month, I'm here to tell you today about Orange Shirt Day on September 30th of each year. So I'm wearing my orange shirt and my, you can see my orange earrings. The day started when I told my story for the first time in 2013, how my grandmother took me to town to Williams Lake from the reserve, and I chose a shiny new orange shirt for my first day of school. When I attended the residential school, when I got there, my orange shirt was taken away, and I never wore it again. Orange shirt day started in 2013, was the first year. Our slogan is every child matters. And how that came about was when I was telling my story of being at the St. Joseph Indian Residential School outside of Williams Lake, how I felt I didn't matter and that no one cared. No one cared how much we cried or that we were afraid. No one came to tell us that it would be okay. So we chose every child matters as our slogan. And that also fits and for the residential school survivors as children, all the survivors of, across Canada, all those children mattered, as well as the ones who did not make it home. Every child matters. And in this day of reconciliation, we found that it also fits in this day that of course, every child does matter. It fits in the past, in the present, as well as the future. So, Gukstjam for having me, and I hope to meet, uh, uh, I've met a lot of people across Canada, and I look forward to meeting more of you. So, Gukstjam, thank you. Last year, we were fortunate to welcome Phil Webstad to our school. Alongside Elder Jerry, she shared her story with us. She taught us of her community and worked alongside us to learn on the Indigenous Peoples Atlas. We walked across our nation to see the history and legacy of the residential schools and how deeply that impacts all of our communities. Today, we are walking together in steps of reconciliation. We wear orange to honor her and all residential school survivors and for those who have experienced intergenerational effects in their lives. For many of us, September is a time of excitement, a time for new beginnings and exciting changes. For many years, the time of September was difficult for indigenous people in our country as it was time when the children would have to return to residential schools. Indigenous communities were torn apart and weakened. Today, we take the time to honor this day and focus on reconciliation, and to understand that reconciliation is a shared responsibility for all people. 
Indigenous people in Canada have long been silenced, and we take time to help strengthen that voice. We take time to honour the stories like Phyllis's. We recognise that all voices are important, and every child matters. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As Catholics, we are called to love one another. In the Beatitudes, Jesus teaches that peacemakers will be called the children of God. We are so fortunate for all that we have today and that we can focus on the meaning of Orange Shirt Day. Every child matters. When we choose to learn about our shared history to honor our past and to make change for a better future, we are working to bring about peace among all people. We are all treaty people and all children of God, and it's our responsibility to walk together in the path of reconciliation. The response is, Creator God, grant us mercy. Creator God, grant us mercy. For the times we have oppressed the First Nations people, causing them to lose their voice. Creator God, grant us mercy. For the effects that residential schools have made on students and their families and communities, Creator God, grant us mercy. For the times that we have not treated First Nations people with the respect and dignity they deserve as beloved children of God, Creator God, grant us mercy. For all those who are still affected today by the legacy of the residential school system, Creator God, grant us mercy. This is I Lost My Talk by Rita Jo. I lost my talk. The talk you took away when I was just a little girl at Shubenacadie School? You snatched it away. I speak like you, I think like you, I create like you. The scrambled ballad about my world. Two ways I talk, both ways I say. Your way is more powerful. So gently I offer my hand and ask, let me find my talk so I can teach you about me. Rita Jo is often referred to as the Mi'kmaq Poet Laureate. She attended residential school in Nova Scotia. Rita wrote this poem in response to an experience that she had that was much like many Indigenous children in the schools. She was forbidden to speak her language and lost the voice she had to speak for herself. Today we honour her and all residential school students who were forbidden to speak their language and practice their culture. Napiowak, Napisasak, Esquiowak, Esquisasak, Agakio, Kotagak, Eyasinoak, Ota, Askig, Kita Temehenan. Hi, hi. Our Father, the Creator, help us and protect us today and all day. We are your children, all boys and men, all girls and women, and all others of all nations, all people here, all the world. We are thankful. Thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please reflect on our closing song, Gentle Warrior, which was written by students and staff at the Allison Bernard Memorial High School in Eskoki, Cape Breton, Canada, in tribute to Mi'kmaq poet and Eskoki native Rita Jo. The track features local vocals by Kaylin Johnson and rap styling of Devin Paul, and a powwow chanting by Thunder Herney. Gentle Warrior was created with the support of the National Arts Centre of Canada.
I am the one who walks like a king. I am the one who cares not always to win. The wars I do not care, they hurt us all. You make it so hard, you always want to win. Please believe we care and do understand. I am the one who walks like a king. It's sad that better what our culture was playing to our main with speech is pain that we had to learn Dance with the spirits with the pillow of burn Man, it's all mixed up all across the nation Residential schools placed inside of a reservation You take us to rape us, forsake us to places and reservations But we never made it order We take a pride and ball it up, cheer A gentle warrior Yes, I found my talk. It stayed, I never forgot it. 